Fellas, AC here, welcome to another review. Now I hope that you all are keeping safe. I know it's not an easy thing to, you know, self-isolate, but I'm hoping you're staying well, staying safe, and most importantly, staying happy. Now, today I've got a creed for you, Creed's Royal Mayfair. Now, before I start, a few points, right? The thing is, this fragrance was released in 2015, but this fragrance was actually released way, way before that, in 1936. The name of the fragrance then was Creed's Windsor. And it's been reimagined for modern times, and it's been released. It's one of those creeds which divides opinion. And uh, in my opinion, this is one of the most wonderfully creative, masculine, yet modern creed fragrances. Now, what a small decant and it's a, it's a pretty sizable decant. I've used more than half of it, and I love it every time I spray it. So, let's talk about Windsor first. So, Duke of Windsor was Edward VIII, after whom this fragrance was designed by Creed. Now, Creed has been world famous or famous for designing or creating fragrances for the Royal House household here in the UK and worldwide. So, Duke of Windsor was the eighth, Edward VIII. He was the same king who had to abdicate the British throne because he was in love with a woman who was a divorcee, yeah? And according to prevailing customs and laws of those times, he was not allowed to marry her. So Wallace Simpson was the woman who stole England's king. And then obviously the present queen came from the second branch of the royal family. Whatever happens, it happens for the good. I'm sure we wouldn't have been blessed, blessed with the wonderful queen that we have currently had things followed the original trend. But yeah, Duke of Windsor was known for his amazing style. He, I mean, all the English royals, you know, all the gentlemen and the ladies are just fabulously stylish. Prince Charles has an impeccable, amazing, impeccable sense of style. Duke of Windsor was no less, and this fragrance was created for him. This modern one, unfortunately, I don't know how much this one smells like Windsor, but I can tell you one thing, the notes breakdown is pretty similar. Now this one here, I've got a dry down here, which is about seven hours old, and I'm spraying this with caution because I don't want this to dominate the other one. It does dominate a lot. Spray it, it has tremendous performance and projection. Oh, once you spray this, it's basically a reimagined barbershop scent. Reimagined. And when I say barbershop, most will basically frown at me straight away because it doesn't smell like a barbershop, but it has all the characteristics of a barbershop scent. So, what does barbershop have? It has a very fizzy, uh, lemony character, astringent like, asperidic. It is very asperidic. It has a note of gin, very fresh, crisp and dry. Along with that, there's a beautiful note of bergamot. Then there's this note of rose, very spongy, watery, like rose water. And along with that, there's this green pine, fresh, airy, like walking in English countryside on a spring day with cool breeze blowing across your face, and beautiful sunshine like the days we are having right now. Can't go out, but the days we are having night right now is just amazing. We're just having beautiful spell of weather. And this is how it starts off. Ah, oh, fresh, green, herbaceous, fizzy, aromatic, amazing, joyful, just amazing. This fragrance is amazing, guys. But it divides opinion because it smells really odd to some people. And I can see why. It's got this strange note of eucalyptus, very rarely used. Nowadays they're using it a lot, but it's rarely used. And eucalyptus oil has this outstanding medicinal quality. You know, if you've ever smelled eucalyptus leaf, it smells like Vicks, Vicks Vapor Rub. And it has this quality of antimicrobial, antibacterial. Now I use um, bath salts and essential oils. I take a warm soak whenever I get a time especially weekends, and one of my favorite oils is eucalyptus oil, eucalyptus and tea tree, because it really cleanses you and it makes you very calm. You know, when you want to do deep work, eucalyptus is amazing. This fragrance uses eucalyptus. 
but eucalyptus can smell like a tincture and that's the problem. Problem is it smells so different that some people are put off by it. I don't get that because I'm so used to it now. Initially I was a bit stunned by the fragrance because it's really something that you have not experienced before. Eucalyptus, gin, pine, rose and bergamot. How odd but it's just amazing. Let it dry down two or three minutes and you'll see how beautiful this fragrance is. It's just bubbling with energy. This fragrance just bubbles with energy. The structure of the fragrance is that rose is the only heart note and it is one of those notes that is omnipresent. It's there throughout the journey. When the fragrance dries down, it, there's another trick up its sleeve. It's got this beautiful note of orange and the fizziness, the astringent, slight herbal astringent quality all disappear. And you have this beautiful, airy, orangey cedar. There's a note, amazing cedar. This is the only fragrance I know from Creed, which doesn't have that ambergris smell, but it has the smell of woody, slightly woody, fresh, sprightly orange with a fizziness, you know, um, very light and airy and fresh all the time. That gin-like quality never escapes. It's a beautiful fragrance. It just exudes elegance, you know, um, masculine, modern masculine elegance. It's just, Amazing. So pros and cons. Number one pro. See the fragrance is named after Mayfair. Mayfair is the most expensive district in the whole of UK. You know, and the fragrance should smell something that belongs to that locality. This fragrance smells expensive, smells classy, smells um, sort of out of reach. Not only because of its price point, it's quite expensive, but also the smell. You have to have a specific type of taste to be able to enjoy Mayfair, yeah? You have to have that real feel for the fragrance. You should be able to identify yourself with that. It's really a special fragrance, very beautifully made, very special. So that's number one pro. The second is the performance. Not many creeds have the kind of performance this one has. It has a tremendous projection and it's a beast. It lasts for about 14 hours. Excuse me, projects for about five or six hours, maybe even seven, so half a day, sorry, nearly a full work day. So you have to watch the sprays, but tremendous performance. Obviously, number three is it appeals, it will appeal to a special section of consumers, yeah? People who like modern stuff, but something that is rooted in the past. For example, if you wear tweed jackets, if you wear leather strap wristwatches, if you like to own classic cars, you know, the 1960s Jaguars, or if you have a bit of money, the Bentleys and the Rolls Royce, rather than opting for a Ferrari or a Maserati. You see the distinction? Somebody who likes to own classic stuff would really like this fragrance, you know? And it has a classic feel to it. It takes you back into the time, a different time, different place almost, but it's never dated. It's never something that, you know, comes across as out of place. So the downsides. The initial opening also has the smell of a damp gunny bag. First few seconds, maybe even half a minute. That along with the eucalyptus smell and the completely perplexing, completely out of the way opening puts people off. Wrong puts people. Sometimes people might think they're, they've done a big mistake by buying a creed. So if you're coming from the Aventus line, if you're coming from the Silver Mountain Water line or even Royal Oud, this one might shock you a bit. It has this shock factor. Number two, limited wearability. Now I've tested this fragrance everywhere, every season, everywhere, work, um, social occasions, all by myself. This one suits warm-ish weather because of the eucalyptus. It has this waxy mentholic smell and that goes well with warm weather. So it's suited for warm weather. It's also suited for suit and time. That kind of elegance, that kind of, it's formal. This scent is formal. You can wear it on a t-shirt if you feel like, if you like something, you wear it. But it exudes that sort of formal self about itself. Value for money, uh, it's not a downside, luckily for a, for a creed, because this one is tremendous value for money. If you identify the traits I have, uh, with the traits I have described, this is tremendous value for money. If you like fragrances like Bois de Portugal from Creed or Green Irish Tweed to a lesser extent, this will be something that you will really enjoy. This has got that real 
grounded, gentlemanly quality about itself. Age groups, any age group can wear this. This is tremendously modern. It's got this modern feel about it. It's very airy. It doesn't uh, sort of claw you down. If you're able to deal with the opening and the notes in this fragrance and the uh, sort of different quality type of fragrance that this is, you should be able to deal with it quite easily. So if you're 25 plus, I would highly recommend you test this. This is one of a kind creed. So I think I've covered everything. Compliment factor. Again, compliment factor will be something that I would tread very carefully. I can't see you getting compliments from ladies. If you do, you're very lucky, but you will definitely get noticed by your colleagues, by your friends who think you have a superb sense of style. Social occasions, daytime garden parties where you're wearing summer, you know, smart casual. You will really shine because this shines in you know, summer heat or even hot days in spring. So those are the qualities I would say. Marks out of 10. This is an unusual creed. I would have given it a 9. I'm going to give it an 8 because of the factors I've explained. This, this comes with a little bit of testing and adaptation. You have to adapt to this fragrance. This won't be an easy walk in the park, but yeah, it could be. If you completely agree with the scent and it just agrees with you, it could be a match made in heaven. And it's a superb fragrance. Amazing, professional, classic, but yet modern, beautifully well made, you know, really good fragrance. So eight out of 10, hope you like the review fellas. Take care, bye-bye.